Western Wednesdays is back and we are joined with Senior Associate Athletic Director at Missouri Western, Ryan Minley. Ryan, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me this early in the morning. Of course, we love having you on as early as we can. So we got to paint it black. Tell us about it. Well, Paint It Black, it's kind of our marketing campaign for all of Missouri Western Athletics this year. You know, Paint It Gold has been a thing for mm -hmm. the longest time, and we love the color gold, but black is gold as well, and gold signifies victory, and black is kind of back to our roots with a little bit of edge and attitude, and that's what uh, made Missouri Western great um, in the athletic side, and we're a nation of underdogs and overachievers. That's what we are. That's what we're going to lean into all year. That's awesome. And we do have a little bit of a promo video playing here that you were able to send us. It looks like it's going to be a great time. We had to cut the sound, so we can obviously talk. But <laughs> Good. So when does, the, when does it officially start? You guys have something with United Way? Yeah, well, the Paint It Black Blitz actually has been going on. We were out in the community with posters and schedule cards the last few weeks, so, so we're trying to paint the paint the community black. We'll be out with black flags on businesses this week as right. well, hanging flags. And then, uh, as you mentioned, the Paint It Black Blitz uh, partnered with United Way, who's a, a great community partner, does great things for St. Joseph, obviously, mm -hmm. great community partner with Missouri Western. But uh, we are doing our Paint It Black Blitz tomorrow. Say that three times fast, Paint It <laughs> Black Blitz. Uh, and that is uh, basically we're going to help raise money for the United Way and their campaign. Right. And then why we do that will be at street corners. You see it on the screen there. Uh, volunteers from United Way and Missouri Western, we will accept donations for the United Way uh, at 22nd and Garfield, Noise and Mitchell. And that's basically spread out throughout the morning until 6 o'clock. So if you see people with buckets on a street corner yeah. uh, stop by and we'll have some gifts for you too some Missouri Western tickets for the football game this weekend uh, we're giving those out with donations schedule cards and again just trying to partner in community and, and get our folks to the home opener on Saturday yeah I mean that's gonna be a great one Missouri Western just dropped one in Fort Hayes but you were, you were right when they said painted black is the embodiment they're underdogs you're hard you're physical what is that going to be like? What is yeah, that attitude. Well, we're going blackout night on Saturday, okay. hence the paint, paint it black yeah. theme. But it will be a, a we're going to paint State Threat Stadium black and playing Missouri Southern at six o'clock on Saturday night. It's it's family weekend, which mm -hmm. is an early weekend at Missouri Western. It's Champions Weekend. We'll be honoring our MIAA champions from the past year, uh, and we've we've got a good amount of yeah. those. And uh, and then we're going to try to win a football game, yeah. which is what we're uh, that's the main event. And um, you know we're we're ready. I think the Griffins, uh, you saw it, you're mm -hmm. doing radio for us. Uh, struggled a little bit in Hayes. Hayes is a very good football team, but uh, I think Missouri Western is a pretty good football team too, so to we're going to get it figured out. I have to agree. They, they are One thing you can say is they are physical. They yes. want to get to the ball. They got nose on the football all the time. For people that haven't been to a Western game yet, obviously they both have been away so far, so now first home game of the season. What can they expect? Yeah, it's my first game back in a few years, too. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we've got the largest video board in Division Two. It's seventy foot monster. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're gonna, and we, we've got the Bill Snyder Pavilion. Uh, we have River Bluff Brewing Company out there, so you can go have a beer on the pavilion and watch a football right. game. And uh, it's it's sports entertainment now. So that's the the video board. We'll have some entertaining things on it. Um, even if you're not a football fan, uh, we've got a little bit of something for everybody yeah. to come out in the community. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great time. Before we toss it to break, is there anything else that people should know about? Yeah, uh, tune into the radio uh, <laughs> on, on the Varsity Network, gogriffins.com. Kyle Schmidt, you might hear him doing color commentary for Griffin football this season. So that's exciting. I appreciate the shout-out. It's, and it's been a great time. I Good. Really appreciate I'm glad you enjoyed that five-hour trip from Hayes <laughs> in the middle of the night. So. <laughs> hey, you got you to get there somehow. We appreciate you coming in this morning.